All right, welcome to Pandem's playthroughs. I today I'm going to open the other squadron starter kit for X Wing 2.0, the Galactic Empire. So I've just done a video on the Rebel Alliance one. I am a new player to X Wing, have not played X Wing before, just watched it played. I am an Armada and Legion player, but this is targeted at people like me who want to get into X Wing, who have nothing, and just want to play with friends and family, you know, or my local store. Um, so, as you saw in the previous video, I went through and discussed what the contents were of the Rebel Alliance box. Today, we're going to go through the Galactic Empire box. And what I like about these boxes is, as I was saying before, when I bought into Armada before the clones and the Separatists, before everything else, you had to buy a core box, you had to buy... Uh, multiple of them potentially to get enough damage dice to get enough damage decks to get enough all sorts of things right which became a bit of a pain this here is a great way of doing things ffg um, has done a good job of making it easy to get into games if it's on a lord of rings living card game player so it's mostly on my channel and what you see there is that people have got into the revised core set. You don't need to buy three core sets to get started. You buy one. All your contents are packaged into a single box. If that's Arkham Horror, if that's all sorts of things, make it much easier to be as a consumer. So I'm a big fan of that. And that's what's got me into this here. So looking at the start here, beautiful models. Like, I I am a rebel player. And that's no, no lie in that. But these are stunning, right? Like, here's my bomber. My two X-Wing, my two TIE Fighters, look at that. They're pretty special. Fly them around. And then you've got your, I think it's TIE Advanced, right? Which is Darth Vader's TIE Advanced. Stunning. And the detail on these models, they're pre-painted. I can get flying right away. You could arguably, if you're playing it like locally, you grab a, grab a, grab a box off the shelf and get playing in the same afternoon, which is pretty cool. So let's look at the cardboard section from before. I'll put the I'll put the ships over here, just out of, out of view. I'll put, keep them out of some space aside. So you get your measurement ruler, all right? Three, three, long. Now there's a bucket load of cardboard. And the other video I didn't open this cardboard either, but it includes all of the squares for my different uh, heroes. So you can see here, Iden Versio and Valen Ruda are the ties, Jonas and Vader in the advanced, the relevant direction dials. Um, you've got your areas, so like your, um, what's the word for it? Things on the battlefield, asteroids, plasma, that sort of stuff. You've got mines, various tokens, all those wonderful pieces in there. I will not open these up because they end up being messy. As discussed in the other video, you get this wonderful rule book which goes through and talks through all of the ship loadouts, all the different pieces you get inside your uh, component list. So you get your ships, your pegs, you get your... All sorts of things, right? Which is really good. You get spare pegs too, which is nice. Templates for turning device tokens, maneuver dials, everything like that. The difference here with this box, and I didn't explain this too well in the previous video, so I'll probably put this one up first. Again, I am opening these blind, right? So please forgive me on some of the pronunciation or some of the terminology. You get your various device and various um, behaviors and effects, including a wonderful turn uh, tracker, you get, <coughs> excuse me, standard loadouts. Now, standard loadouts, you can see here, are pre-canned loadouts for Vader, for Mark Steel or Merrick Steel, right? So here's Vader in the advanced. Uh, comes with hate, iron missiles, afterburners. Merrick Steel comes with elusive man uh, maneuver afterburners, right? So different profiles on the different same ships, to give you different outcomes, right? You see, you can play the same ships in different ways. There's Captain Jonas in the bomber, right? Tomax Bren in the bomber. You can see here, I have Night Beast, Valen Rudol, and Iden Verzio from Inferno Squadron. Three different ways to play a time fighter. All three are disciplined. Yet, however, Night Beast has Predator, Rudor has Precision Iron Engines, and Iron Versio has Elusive. They also have different specific pilot traits, but I can grab these, I can shuffle them, whatever, and go, I'm going to pick this, this, 
I'm sorry. Yeah, Bomber, Bren, Tomax, Bang Out, my Valen Rudol, and Verzio. And I can start. I don't need to worry about upgrade cards. I don't need to worry about pilot cards. I grab my damage deck. I get my pop my counters out and away I play. And I love this. For someone who plays casually, the ability to not have to worry about upgrades. I have pre-canned, pre-done things. Bring this to Armada, please. I would love some loadouts where you played just generic list like this. It'd give you some play. I'd probably a bit harder in Armada, but it's definitely possible. Um, and so we'll go through here. You've got the same things we discussed before. So all of the pilots, Vader, Marek Steel, Jonas, Tomax Bren, Night Beast. Like you get all of your cards, Versio. There's the elusive that we had before in the pre-printed card. Right, you get your predator traits, your disciplined, your height and perception, which I'm guessing is this is like a force icon. Ion missiles, which we saw in the other deck, barrage rockets, like they're all all of our wonderful upgrade our damage decks here. But all of the wonderful upgrades are here, right? And I think that's the best part is that you have the choice of full control over how you build your list with pattern analyzer sensors you can choose however you want to play aggressive defensively offensively you want to manipulate the other player you can do so with the upgrades or you just go i want a quick friendly match we're going to use pre-con we're going to play this five six times and think about it, the cost of this box in australia i think it's 100 australian dollars roughly right i see this very much as a i can play this game with multiple loadouts on those ships four or five times each configuration, then play my, you know, the Rebel side or whatever other ships you have. And all of a sudden, you've got a lot of replayability. If you've got 30 or 40 games out of this, that's not a bad little return on investment. In my opinion, that's how I look at things, how often I play it, how much. I play it once, or it's worth $100. Play it twice, worth 50 bucks a play. That's how I rationalize all of these things. And it works out in my head. It doesn't work out for everyone. But yeah, definitely some very, very cool art. Very, very great setup. I love that I can get this box done and started. And the fact that I have these cool looking models just chilling around is even more exciting. So I'm a first time player. This, I don't know half the rules. I don't know uh, what the icons mean. I'm going to be learning this. This book here, it is well laid out from the look of it. it like I said in the other video, it doesn't have, it has a reference. But no index, no uh, glossary to look up certain terminology. So you have to end up lo learning out where it's from, right? Which is a bit tricky, right? If you go, oh, I know that the rules for obstacles repairing is here or partial maneuvers are there. I'm sure like with, with Armada Legion, there's updated rule reference guides on the website. But hey, that's all right there. It also comes with a couple of missions, which is nice. So out of the box, I don't just shoot each other. I can play four scenarios, which is nice. Um which is really cool. So I can just pick what I want to do and away I go. It helps me determine the first game and it shows here Darth Vader, Tom X, Bren, Arden, Verzio and Night Beast. And the other one you had Luke Skywalker. Um, Luke Skywalker, your Dutch and you had a few others, right? So this is the new revised Galactic Empire Squadron box. If you have any questions in the comments, you want to see other cards, you want to see things, or if you're an existing player who might want to see if there's any deltas in the, in the changes or errata, give me a hoy and I'll happily post up some things on the communities page of YouTube. Otherwise, thanks for watching and see you soon.